What is going on lads and welcome to a video where we are going to be comparing the man, the myth, the legend that is Six Chemistry Eto. Just before we get onto that, if you are looking to buy some FIFA coins, make sure you use the link that is in the description as it's a nice reliable way to get you your coins. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, it's a bit of a thing going around Foothead. I suppose you could call it a meme maybe as it is like a viral internet thing where they're saying that everyone that they come up against on Ultimate Team has always just got an Eto stuck up front randomly and he's just absolutely obliterating them and playing out of his skin and he just shouldn't be able to do that because he's on 6 chemistry. So what I've decided to do is go and get myself an Eto, stick him in this team which you can see on the screen now with basically just a standard overpowered sweaty team and then stick Eto up front on 6 chemistry and see if he can do the business and see if he is actually horrendously overpowered like people say. So, my first port of call was to check his in-game stats. Now, this is the same card of Eto. He's just in different teams. So, in the team on the left, he's got 6 chem. And on the team on the right, he's got 9 chem. In both teams, he's got large morale. So, that's why his stats are slightly higher than what it shows on Foothead and Footwiz. However, you can see they are literally exactly the same. So, having 6 chemistry made no difference to his stats at all. The only way it could make a difference to the way he played was if EA have got some form of, like, script or script. And if that even exists, to make 6 chemistry cards play slightly worse than they should so after establishing that when he's on six chemistry and there's nothing wrong with his in-game stats the next thing we needed to do was go and test them out and see whether he performs well so we know that eto is a good player and average is about a goal a game maybe some games he'll score two or maybe get a hat trick but then other games he might not get a goal so we were looking for an average of about one goals per game and you can see there he's played four games and scored four goals in online matches he also played quite a few friendlies against subs and friends and averaged about a goal a game in there so he's played closer to 10 games and scored about 10 goals so all in all he is performing just like normal eto would he's got the same in-game stats and he's got a pretty decent goals to game ratio so 4k for a player who scores a goal for you every game is not too bad at all so you can see now that we've got some goals on the screen that were scored by Eto when he was on six chemistry so he scores some pretty good goals he's still extremely quick obviously because his stats haven't changed at all he's still got the good long shots and he's still got the good shot power so just to summarize Eto does have exactly the same stats when he's on six chemistry there's a myth going around that when he's on six chemistry he's better than he is when he's on nine chemistry and i have to say that just isn't true but he is literally exactly the same player so the six chemist eto is better than the nine chem eto but not because of in-game stats or how he plays or anything like that just for the fact that you can put him in any team that you want to so i would advise you to go and pick out this eto pick up this eto maybe abuse it and maybe it's true for all players on ultimate team so if you would like some more ultimate team myth busting then drop a comment about what you'd want me to test out maybe a whole team of six chemistry and see if that still works maybe pace maybe morale anything like that let me know and i will be happy to test it out for you guys and let you know if it's worth doing but anyway lads we are now coming towards the end of this video so let me know your experiences with eto yourselves in the comment section whether you've had him on six chem or nine chem and whether he plays well or bad for you thanks for watching lads i hope you've enjoyed this video if you are new do be sure to subscribe do be sure to drop this video a like as well it'd be much appreciated thanks for watching lads and i will see you next time